What's up guys, it's Adrian and welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, I'm really excited because I'm about to talk to you about one of my favorite topics, viral content. How do you find the best viral content online that you can use in your marketing? Now today's day and age, content is everything. If your content isn't good, you're not gonna get any sort of visibility, any sort of reach. So the first thing you need to know is that the content needs to stand out, grab attention. Another way to tell if a piece of content is actually viral is to look at its social proof. If it gets a lot of likes, if it gets a lot of shares, if it gets a lot of comments, these are all indicators that this piece of content is resonating and evoking some sort of um, activity from people who are viewing it. So uh, whenever we find something with a lot of engagement, meaning a lot more than normal, then this is a good indicator that this piece of content will most likely perform well. Now there's tricks and there's tips and there's different strategies on how to actually find these kind of content or which one will perform the best in your space so i'm gonna walk you through exactly how to determine if this piece of content will even work for your audience or not it's not just white and black it, there's a lot of testing and research that has to go into finding the best performing one that would work for your audience so i don't want you to think this is going to be oh this works for this person it's going to work for me no 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 it doesn't work like that uh, well, sometimes it might work like that, but it doesn't always work like that. So a lot of the time you have to test, test, test until you find the winning product or the, the winning uh, piece of content that will work best for you and your audience. If you haven't already, definitely hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below. So I'm gonna share with you guys seven resources that I use personally to help my clients find viral content. Resource number one, Instagram. I'm gonna show you how to do it on the desktop and also pull up some uh, mobile views for you guys as well. So let me show you guys. So first thing I would do when um, looking for viral content on Instagram is to go to your search tab. So in the search tab, you can look up anything industry specific and um, it will show you a bunch of search results. So say I wanted to search for hashtags in my industry or uh, content in my industry. My industry as a techno DJ and producer is uh, techno. So if I type in hashtag techno music, you see it's recommending me a bunch of different other hashtags that I can look into. Um, and you can uh, go into, that one or you can look through all the other ones as well um, you'll find nuggets in some of the smaller ones as well so definitely don't count those out uh, but you go into techno music then uh, you can see right here that is showing you all the top posts um, so uh, what's also cool it, it allows you to follow the hashtag so that means that um, by following the hashtag, now their posts are going to show up on your feed. So now you don't even have to go looking for um, new content. The content that shows up on your, your feed, it speeds up the process for you. But you go here, you, uh, you type in the hashtag, and they show you all the top posts. Now, you can just go in and you know see which post has the most engagement. This one has 65,000 views. So what you could do is you can actually go in and download this and share it on your profile. It already has social proof, so you know it's going to work. Um, now for the musicians, you can even put your music behind it uh, to help promote it. So now you're getting viral content, which is promoting your music. So here's an example where I pulled up rapper. Now you can uh, scroll through rapper, click on a post and find out which one has the most engagement. And based off the ones that have the most engagement, you can create content similar to those because that's social proof. Um, Reels, the Instagram algorithm right now is putting a lot of attention on Reels. So if you make a Reel, uh, the chances of your post getting more engagement increases a lot. 
and reels right now are getting the most visibility and all you have to do is go on your home page uh, or your search page and you can scroll through the all the content and see uh, which content are performing the best and based on your preference this is what they populate now you can also type in uh, your industry specific content in the search tab and it's gonna populate a bunch of hashtags similar to that of what you typed in so all of these hashtags contain content that is usable um, there's also profiles that pop up that you can go look through and see which content on that profile um, is performing the best. I'm actually going to show you a tool later on that will allow you to see all the top performing content on each uh, profile page. Hey, if you're serious about growing your Instagram, check out this video right here. It's going to show you exactly how to set up your Instagram profile to capitalize on uh, the content or the traffic that you're going to be driving to your Instagram profile through these content that you find. So once you click on the hashtag, as you see on mobile, there, it gives you a lot more top content than it does on desktop. So I highly recommend using the mobile version for when looking for content. Now, if you click on a reel, it starts suggesting you a bunch of other reels that you can look at. And again, reels are getting the most engagement. So um, all these reels could work as a sort of uh, viral content for your post. Now, uh, and if you click on a regular photo, you can start looking at which content uh, has the most engagement in terms of likes and comments. And those, and that will tell you which one is uh, the best to go with. You can also follow hashtags um, on the top. See, you just click follow. And now what that means is when you're on your home page and scrolling through your feed, um, you'll start to see that hashtag pop up on your feed. So um, the benefits of this is that now you don't have to go searching for content. Now you don't have to go searching for content. It's already here. If you search the actual term, it pops up a bunch of uh, content in that industry um, on your search page. Um, and you can go through them and see which one works the best as well. Resource number two, Facebook search. Not a lot of people use Facebook to find viral content and it's actually a gold mine. Um, so you can just go to the search tab, type in techno, and then you have to go to videos on the left in the search bar. And then it starts sh showing you like a bunch of videos that have been performing well. You can easily just click any of these videos and um, you know, they have social proof already, which means that people like them. Now, just by uh, going here and clicking on the video, maybe you could put, maybe you could put your music behind it. So she's playing. Now, I did a search for rappers and I saw this really cool video. Uh, it's a nerdy Uber driver um, rap battle. Um, I'll show you guys. So this is like an example of content that you can mimic. You can just go here, find content that other people produce that has a lot of shares and a lot of comments and just recreate it. If you're serious about growing your Facebook page, then definitely check out this video right here because I'm gonna walk you through exactly what to do with the viral content once you find it. Resource number three, and my favorite of them all, Viral Spy. So here's what's dope about Viral Spy. You can come in here and type in any Instagram profile and it will pop up, it will populate all their top posts. For example, if I type in my Instagram. So once you type in someone's Instagram, it gives you a bunch of data um, on that profile. And it gives you their top post. So it it chronologically orders all the posts uh, based off the most liked. So you can literally do this for any account. So you can even do it for hashtags. So say again, hashtag techno, 
music. Uh, enter. Now it shows me the top posts currently in the techno music uh, hashtag, right? And then you just go through all of these and pick the best content that fits your industry. Resource number four, YouTube. So YouTube is an amazing platform for getting content that would go viral. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to find those content. Another way to find dope content is to just go to the search bar and type in uh, anything, dance performance. And then when that search come up, there's a filter bar right here that you can just press filter and then go to creative commons. Creative commons is uh, content that people use that, and they're giving you permission to use it as well. So you go to creative commons and now all of these performances I can use in my content. So you can even filter by view count and now it will arrange all the content in that search um, by views. So these will, this means that all these content are performing very, very well. So you can always use them uh, to create uh, new content. What I would do personally, I would do this week or this month and then um, filter through search count. Resource number five, Google Trend. So Google Trend is very powerful because it allows you to see when people are talking about what it shows you the increase and the decrease in that term. So for example, uh, say I typed in Christmas, it shows you the trend. So if you follow this trend and predict when something's going to happen, you can ride the wave, right? So you know, someone's going to talk about it around this time. So you create content around that topic around the time when it's going to take off there is trends happening out there guys that if you find when it is going to take off you can ride the wave up to the top and just keep doing this and keep creating content where there's trends and then you'll start to see your reach and your engagement go up substantially resource number six answer the public it's a uh, tool that allows you to see all the questions people are asking about the, prop, the, about the term um, and it organizes it in a way that allows you to see what question is the most important. So for example, let's say, you no, know, this is chocolate, so chocolate. So based on the keyword chocolate, it structures everything in a way where now you can see like all the questions people are asking about chocolate and um, the popularity of it. Resource number seven, Buzzsumo. So Buzzsumo is a really awesome tool because it shows you all the best content for a specific keyword. Now let's say we look for the word Christmas. These are all the content on the internet that has the most uh, likes, shares, comments, and it tells you based on which platform um, they have the most uh, engagement on. So on Facebook, this post right here has over 3.8 million engagement. So you can see right here, it gives you more data on it. There's a uh, 24% wows, 76% love. So you can just click on it, see what the content is and either replicate it or create something similar to it. So these are the exact seven resources that I use when I'm researching viral content for my clients. If you haven't already checked out the video where I show you how to actually use this viral content to get more engagement on your post, click here and it's gonna walk you through the exact steps um, on how I set it up on my end. If you found value from this video, hit the like button, drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel. So finding viral content is only one of the strategies that I teach in my ebook so if you want to grab a copy and learn the other six strategies that i show uh definitely hit the link in the bio and go download the ebook it's for free and it shows you seven secrets on how to grow your brand